Okay, here's this USB flash drive. It's from Lexar and it's 64 gigabytes in size. We already have a star there. The star means that some of the listed storage capacity is used for formatting and other purposes and it's not available for data storage. One gigabyte equals one billion bytes. Okay, so the available free space is somewhat less than 64 gigabytes. Okay, this is the model S35 and it's for USB 3. That should lead us to a faster speed. And it says here that up to 150 megabytes per second and that's for the read speed. It has two stars there and the two stars mean that the maximum read transfer is 150 and the write speed is lower. Securely encrypts files. Okay, includes a key ring loop. Okay, so let's open it. It has a mark here for opening it. Here is the USB flash drive. Lexar USB 3. It's white. It's plastic. Wow, that's nice. As you turn, it expands. And when you close it, it retracts. It has an LED here, that RO, it's already called Lexar, the drive's label is Lexar also, let's go to properties, and here we have 59 gigabytes out of 64, so out of 64 gigabytes only 59 are available, and it's already formatted as a FAT32, that's not too good because it won't allow larger files than 4 gigabytes. So for example a 5 or 6 gigabyte file cannot be copied onto this flash drive if it's formatted into FAT32. So we have to format it into NTFS or ext FAT, extended FAT file location table. We have some software on this flash drive. We have a PDF, an exe file and a folder. So this is the content of the USB flash drive, now let's copy onto it something a larger file, let's go here, this file has 13 gigabytes, let's copy it onto the flash drive. The file is too large for the destination file, ok so in order to copy a larger than 4 gigabyte file onto the USB flash drive we have to format it as a NTFS drive, so let's right click on the flash drive. Go to format and either use XFAT or NTFS. Let's use XFAT for example. Allocation unit size, let's set to default and quick format. Check that and click start. Formatting will erase all data on the disk. OK. We already copied the content from the flash drive onto the hard drive. Format complete. OK. Now let's open another file manager. Go to the Lexar, the USB flash drive. Let's check here at properties. It's XFAT, as you can see. Okay, and let's check the speed. Copy a larger file. This time it's copying it. And it's writing with 21, 22 megabytes per second. So this is the write speed. I'm writing onto the USB flash drive using a USB 2 port, so I'm not using a USB 3. That's the maximum write speed of the USB 2 port. Okay, and at this speed, 
it will need around nine minutes nine and a half so almost ten minutes to copy that 13 gigabyte file so this is the limit which is reachable through USB 2 20 megabytes per second write speed on to this USB 3 flash drive so if we connect it to a USB 3 port then it will be faster okay let's cancel it okay now we are on a different machine and I open two explorer windows here let me introduce the USB flash drive okay it says Lexar is drive D it's empty so let's go here on the left side to the USB flash drive and from here let's copy a 13 gigabyte file copy okay and here on the left side paste let's see it's writing onto the USB flash drive with 63 megabytes per second this laptop has an SSD drive so that's fast a laptop can read pretty fast from the hard drive and it can write onto the USB flash drive with around 60 megabytes per second okay let's stop this one let's pause it okay and I will introduce the USB flash drive into a different USB port of this laptop and let's compare the speed and continue the previous copy process resume and here we have an interesting result the speed jumped up pretty high but it's back to a little bit higher speed now it's at 70 71 megabytes per second and it's for the USB 3 port a USB 2 and the speed is around three times less it's around 22 megabytes per second so the write speed on USB 3 it's around 70 megabytes per second and the write speed using USB 2 it's only around 22 megabytes so on USB 2 it's around three times slower compared to USB 3 and after writing on the onto the USB flash drive the flash drive gets warm a little bit you can still hold it in your hand but it's warmer 